Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Yodi Madero's card to review today. We're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", high medium work rates, left footed, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Uh, In-game player traits, the card has both the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, which is obviously fantastic to work with. Now, in comparison to the Ryan Kent card, I do feel like this card is going to need an improvement because Ryan Kent, from a base perspective, already kind of has like a good it factor, right? With Yuri, because they are upgrading it from whatever the card was before, the silver card, right? This version of the card, I feel like it's not going to feel the same, right? But we are going to be giving him the Marksman Chemistry Style at first and trying him out with the Hawk Chemistry Style to see what that's going to be like on the card. But uh, yeah, base card stats is at a 92 for acceleration, 90 for sprint speed. He does need that to be improved uh, to fit the meta of the game if I want to give him different chemistry styles, right? So if I want to give him a Marksman, that needs to be improved on the card for him to fit the meta criteria of the game. The thing is that he's playing in the cam position, yes, but the problem is that pace is really relevant to this game. So having it to be higher would be nice, right? But as you guys know, I've used players in the past that have lower pace and it still works out perfectly fine in that area if you're not too concerned about the pace being too high, right? Um, shooting. His attacking positioning is at an 89. I do feel like that being improved would definitely be very nice in the card. But on a Marksman or a Hawk, you will be boosting the shooting as much as possible to work with those meta shooting traits as much as possible. Uh, base card stats for passing on the card is very good as well. You know, playing in the camp position with decent passing is always nice to have, especially when in his case, having it to be in the mid 80s, uh, high 90 area for curve. But again, you know, certain areas of the card being improved would definitely be very nice. I know that his dribbling looks really good, guys, but we have to see what that's going to be like in game. Now, for the old gen version of the game, guys, players just tend to be more responsive. But we're playing on the new gen. So and to be honest with you guys, I might just switch the old gen because the new gen starting to really irritate me. But um, with the dribbling, guys, he will be in the mid 90s, high 90s area with an 86 for composure. So composure is pretty low on the card, too, I would say. Uh, with his physicality, he's got 88 stamina, so you mainly want to use him in the middle for now. But any sort of improvement in the future could definitely be a huge plus for this card. So guys, the way that we're going to be using Maderos in-game is going to be like this. So we're going to have a few formations and tactics. Uh, we're going to be trying him out in the cam position as well as a striker position uh, to see how he kind of moves in those areas on the stay four against the box of the cross instruction. This 3-5-2 is from a pro player, but I don't think it's going to fit this team that well uh, because they're not necessarily meta in, I would say, most of the positions, right? Uh, the instructions is going to be stay forward for him and we'll see how he kind of plays in these formations. So yeah, let's get into a couple games and see how he plays. Sorry, it's just, uh, you gotta do so much stuff to pass this defense, man. I did so many shot cancels there and just nothing. The state of this game is complete trash, man. This I'll park the bus stuff is just ridiculously terrible. There you go. Get him on his right foot there. Good finish. We'll take that. I didn't give him the marksman. Wow. I had a feeling I didn't because I was like, I think I forgot to give it to him. <laughs> oh, if the pass was a little bit better there by Quadishma, wouldn't have been too bad. Maybe a regular law pass would have been better. Oh, man. I try to do some... Uh sharp touches there it didn't really come off that great this is us with the marksman chemistry style by the way sometimes uh, when you play the new gen version of fifa you don't even know what's happening the goals are they're pretty linear you know it's just uh get the one pass a little drag touch then bang you know
So I can tell you guys this right now, when it comes to like the dribbling of this card, uh, compared to the Ken's card, he actually needs the upgrade in my opinion. Let's go for a first time strike here. Nothing crazy special there. Yeah, linear meta. Linear meta, guys, you know the vibes. Pushes out the goalkeeper a little bit. We'll take that. Well done. Ah, oh, Yuri, you gotta do something there, my G. Come on, my guy. Ooh, Madero's offering me some defensive support, huh? White time finesse. I mean, he hits the ball nicely. It's not like super high percentage strike for a finesse shot, but... Oh, hello. But, um, yeah, I was okay. The initial uh, pass there with Madero's is actually solid. Yeah, I had a feeling I put too much power on that. I had a feeling. The run was good, though. Yuri again with the defensive play. See, it didn't let me do that small left stick. So you see the angle that I shot from? I only shot from that angle because I actually want to take a small little touch to get a more consistent strike, which he did not do there. Oh man, he's offside. His dribbling is tough to work with though, man. I will say he, he definitely needs those base stats to be improved. Oh no. Oh, we almost got it. Imagine if he caught it out of the air. That would have noise. Yep, there we go. Get him on his left foot there. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling I was going to score that. How a feeling, my G. Yeah, so we gave him the Hawk chemistry style just to be able to like boost the shooting a little bit more. But then obviously you have to work with the dribbling more. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Yuri Madero's card. So uh, in regards to the comparison between him and Kent, obviously Kent is significantly better, right? With Kent, he has, it's really funny because he has the average body type. His dribbling stats are really high. With this Yuri Madero's card, um, it kind of feels like fake stats in the dribbling department. So it's kind of concerning in regards to uh, some sort of upgrade in the future, right? Like I do feel like the base card stats definitely need to be improved on this card. In general, this card needs to be improved for sure, because in the future, it would be very nice to just be able to give him like a Hawk chemistry style to boost uh, his physical, his shooting and his pace as much as possible, while EA themselves actually increase the dribbling, the passing and all that good stuff for this card. So uh, regardless of the fact that I feel like he needs the improvement, it's a card that I would do on my team because of the Portuguese aspect. As you guys know, this is my main account. That's why he's in the squad. Uh, but yeah, with the dribbling, man, it's a five foot nine player, with a lean body type, but I still feel like it's it doesn't feel like this i would say you know it, it feels a little bit lower than that right so um maybe for the old gen version of the game it'll feel a little bit better because most of the cards dribbling wise do feel better in the old gen it's just kind of how it works in fifa but uh as you guys know i was using the ryan kent card right and the ryan kent card earlier today felt significantly better in the dribbling department and you know like the comparison i understand is like weird right but let's take a look this card on a marksman 
is in the high 90s area, but he has an average. But I still like dribbling way more with this Kent card than this Yuri card, if we're going to do the comparison, right? Uh, with the shooting, his shooting came off perfectly fine, to be honest. It's just the dribbling that it feels like you have to work with a little bit, I would say. Um, obviously, it is a card that, for me personally, 100% needs the upgrade in the future. It's nice that they released this card because it does give you links to players like Quaresma, players like Mateo Shanunj, if you guys are going with those types of squads. Uh, but yeah, in comparison to the Kent card, he 100% needs the upgrade. I don't mind the price of the SPC, considering the fact you could put fodder into it and kind of have the hopes of him being improved in the future. But like I said, he needs those improvements from what I noticed uh, from him in game. Because I gave him the Hawk and I had to work with the dribbling a lot. And I don't feel like it should have been that much, but you do. Uh, and then on the Marksman, it still felt like you had to work with it too. So uh, a weird card, in my opinion, when it comes to the dribbling on him. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.